is. It's about four o'clock, I think. That's outside. Pitch black. I'm on winterly poo. Got here. Well, I'll say first light. It's not even first light. Yeah. Just put the kettle on now and make a brew. And then we've got three rigs ready. I'm just going to steam them straight. I've sent me rods up there. I can't see the thing. But, uh, no one else on. I text a bailey feast today. So there's two lads on for the day, but no one on for the night. There's three cars in the car park, but they must be on the specimen lake. That's the excuse to stay at me. I've up since about 10 to 2. I've had about an hour's sleep. It's like Christmas Eve for me when I go fishing. I can't, I can't sleep. I'm that excited like a little kid. Yeah. Right. I'm going to wait until I can see. <laughs> Outside. Set me rods up. Uh, I'll show you where I'm fishing after. I had a good idea where I was going already. I know you shouldn't be before you get there, but I've fished here that many times that I had um, a fair idea of where I wanted to be at what time and that. So, plus I've got, I've got a cheeky margin spot close to this peg, so this, this allows me to keep an eye on it. So it's actually really close to this peg, so when we receive her, which is there, um, I can keep one eye on it without having to keep reeling in and going looking every half an hour. So, yeah. Uh, Buzzy, I'll right, see you soon when I can see. Right, I'll show where I'm fishing. I've put this rod on its own because the line lay across them pads from there was getting on my nerves. Some fizz in there actually. In there. Oh, I can't see. Um, yeah, so there's some cold water. You'll be able to see it there, it's just slightly different. The pipe's pushing it out, so there seems to be a lot of feeding going on in that cold water so I've just put a single up bait in there it's, push, it's pushing it all out to here I keep seeing feeding so far right I better put a, a bait on it Anna all right middle rod oh sorry that one that's on um, a trimmed down yellow wafter <clears throat> just sink slowly middle rod halfway across same thing seen feeding um, had a pop up on but I thought a lot of physical, you know, a lot of bubbles coming up, they're obviously grubbing around on the bottom. So I've, put, I've just put a bit of pepper army on it. A few bits of pepper army around it, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, right hand rod, sort of over there. I've had fish from this area a couple of times, three or four maybe. Um, that is on a Royal Marine caught dust wafter, sprayed up to death, little bag of pellets. Yeah. Actually came last week, but I didn't film it, I just came for a I saw some my mate, my mate James, and uh, I caught one then. But I was on, I was a fishing, I was fishing actually, I was in that peg over there. And again, the fish that I actually had was just half, just, just under arm, halfway out. So you do catch to the pads and that, but I think you probably catch anywhere on here if, if, if they're feeding. Uh, you just got to put the, put the bait where they're going to feed, aren't you? Or where they can find it. There's a few bubbles picking up over there now. Yes, right. That's me. Uh, that's me home for the day. The, old, the easy shell. Quality, yeah. Winterly pool. Let's hope I can uh, pick one off. The margin spot. It's a bit dark. It's, well, it's lighting up a bit now. It was dead dark before. It's, like, it's, it's sort of not far off the cloudy water, so it's hard to see. I can't see my bait on the bottom. So I'm going to leave it till it gets a bit brighter. Yes, fishing. That's right, while well, the rain stopped. I'll show you what rigs I'm using. Well, I'm using the same rig on all three. Uh, this one is the same as the one on the left hand rod. Yellow wafter trim down, so it just sits, sits like that. Well, the hook's a bit, like 45 degree-ish. Ball back rig. Just the same as what I just the same one again. Uh, but on the middle one, I've got a piece of pepper army. I've not even put anything to uh, counter out the weight or anything, I've just put a pepper army on it. Usually, I fish with some sort of buoyancy, like a bit of fake sweet corn or something, but I thought, you know what? Pepper army, stick it on, see what happens. And the other one is on. Uh, what's the other one on? I've said it before. Uh, Royal Marine Wafter bait works one cork bust. I've caught on them. Uh, I've got I don't know, I've just got mad faith in them. Like spray them up with a the matching spray they stink, but I think the last two fish come off it off uh, them actually. Three, last three I can't remember. I like them anyway. That's the point. That's uh, that's the point. 
Yes, they're my rigs, baiting little and often. Uh, not little, no, not little and often, little. Baiting little and leave it, not little and often at all. That's hang got showing me bait actually. I don't know why I brought all these, but they're sort of washed out. I got them with a Carpology subscription, so I just use them for days, like rich with orange and red. Tooty fruiter, dead soft. Washed them out. Well, it was boiling water, but obviously it went cold. Huh? And uh, the red one, strawberry jam. Nice and pink, actually, that inside. Yeah, so I bet I've put all together about 20 of them out. That's it, about 20 boilies. One of the little bag of pellets on it, just hooked on. That's soaked in uh, isotonic and pineapple goo. It's a main line. I think it's an essential IV one. I've caught on them before anyway. Oh no, yeah, actually, my last, not my last fish, the fish before, on my last video, that was what I was on actually. Same bait as that. Right, but anyway, we're here fishing. Still bubbles pinging up. Oh. Gotta be confident, aren't you? Gotta be confident in what you're doing. Right, so I am confident. Catch up with you soon, hopefully. For this fish. On a more unfortunate note, it's bad angling actually. My left hand rod is fished tight to these pads, I kept seeing some fizzing at. So while I've been down, not, not that far, only a few yards down this right hand margin, I separated my rod and put it on a separate arm. Do me not in this fish. Uh, I've not turned the alarm on my left hand once while I've been playing this, it must have gone off. I've not heard it obviously because I haven't turned the alarm on. Uh, I've come back and it's cut me off on something, so that's a shame, but it's my own fault. Bad angling, I apologise. And I've lost my glasses. I think I lost my glasses in the fight with this one. Got my glasses on. How's that? Finally behaving now. Finally, 13 and a half. Not a monster, but it's a nice one. Job done now, anyway. I'm not blanked. Yes. Buzzing. Right, I'm going to get the rod back on that spot because... Well, I've just caught one from there. <laughs> I'm gonna find my glasses first. Right, and so well, I've turned my left hand alarm on <laughs> as well. Yes! Right, uh, I've moved top end of the lake. Grass peg, I call it. It's like a double, it's a grass peg. Uh, I managed to get a few fish feeding over there, taking floaters just as it's sort of getting towards the scrub. Slow down a bit now, unfortunately. But, yeah, they're just, lurk, they're just lurking under them pads, basically. So there's a few floaters there now. I'm going to put some more out in a minute, little and often, if I can get them competing again. There's three or four, I think, taken before, I think there was. Need a few more, though, do you know what I mean? They are there, but the breeze has just been drifting down here all day. So it's dry. still wet the ground, but it's, it's not raining anymore. So I've got me, uh, I've actually bought myself an actual floater rod. I've never bought one before. I never caught a carp with a controller float, I free lined them off the top, but I've never caught them with a float, so I've not got any other rods out, I'm just back, I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. I've already caught one and that's so I'm not blanked at least, that's me aim. So uh, I'm going to try and get them feeding again and hopefully I'll have a surface caught carp. Yeah, it's come on. Very dramatic this afternoon. Someone's, I don't know what they're doing, chainsawing trees or something around the fish here. Must be cutting it back a bit. It's pretty overgrown now. Looks pretty smart though. Right, uh, I was floater fishing. But I'm either the world this isn't off this is off the bottom. I threw my bottom bait rods out behind me because I give up with the floater fishing. Started again. <laughs> Had one fish miss me up bait four times. Got it feeding again. Five floaters, one was me up bait. It's heading for him. Thought, here we go, finally. Finally, come on. An hour and a half, squatted down in the edge nearly. In my wade, my back is killing. Uh, ducks come over, four ducks. 
smaller and pick me up bait up, do it in a bit, beak it, give it a bit of beakage, fish does one, recast it out, drifted it near the scum again, where they were well, where this fish was taking the floaters, and my middle rod's gone, so I whipped in my floater rod quick, jumped out, took it, dropped my lead on the take, oh yeah, snacks like, like a little cock, it's, well, it's a, bit, a bit orange and black, but looking at the camera there, I can see it, it looks, it looks like a knot of dark common, it has got a, bit, a tinge of orange in it though, yeah, I'll take that, second fish for the day, not off the service, the service, not off the surface like I'd hoped, but just my luck today, honestly. Uh, I know I've caught two fish, shouldn't be complaining, but I'm either the world's worst surface angler, or that fish, he missed me up, mate, repeatedly. He's, he's like the, 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 the stupid, like the daftest carp in this lake. That, that, that fish must be, but getting back, an absolute sausage. Right, let's get this little. Uh, Welcome, welcome fish back. Yes, two, two, buzzing. Can't grow, can't grumble with that. Yes, no microphone, someone's swimming in the background. Mark the bailiff is uh, he's doing all the pegs and that's got overgrown, so he's, he's not having it anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, right, that's it. Well, my rods are still in. Photo one's not. I can photo fishing. I must have sort a day out when it's up somewhere and practice that because I'm bobbing tired. Saying so that in my defence though, that fish that was uh, a bit. I didn't see it casting. Can't cast it, yeah, cast it in the water. Reeling it back slowly, it came up and started trying to nose my line. <laughs> so, but oh, it's like, I'm having, I'm having crap with surface fishing. Oh, that fish is handicapped somehow. Probably both, maybe. Yeah, that's it, two fish. Nice mirror. Nice little uh, orangey black common. Koi, common, cross, whatever. Fish, fish to fish. Yes. Yeah, uh, barrels. Sort of semi loaded. Semi loaded. I'll get the rods in in a minute. I usually put them on the floor and leave them, but two of them are like snagged, so. I'll reel them in first. One of them's one of them's open water, so I'll leave it on the floor to last. I just hope. Yeah, uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Two fish, success. So I, th I had to work for them, do you know what I mean? I ended up moving for the second one. The first one I went sort of stalking a little bit, and, you know what? Like, surface fishing didn't pan out, but I've caught, I've not blanked, I've had two. Someone would have said to me, we take two. We'll take one, mate. No. If you've seen any of my other videos, that's my aim, not to, to, to get one. And it's job done then. Anything else is a bonus. Right, enough of me waffling on. I need to get on the motorway. I'm starving. I want to go home as well. I'm tired. Right, thanks for watching. Carp and I go out.